last not least in this uh, uh, wonderful start of the morning uh, is uh, Dr. Diogo Cabral. We go live to, uh, to Lisboa, Portugal. And uh, Diogo is a senior research fellow at the University of Lisboa. And he's going to talk about macular blood flow connectivity after volume rendering of DBOCTA and confocal microscopy. Diogo. Hi, good morning. Hello, uh, good morning. You can hear me? I can hear you well. Okay, perfect. And see you well. Thank you for your words and, and also thanks Rosa for the invitation to share our work today. So um, in this work, we are looking towards a better understanding of one of the most puzzling questions of the, the macular anatomy and physiology. That's how does blood flow percolate in the human macula? Um, early questions polarized arguments over distinct hypotheses that can be translated to this electronic circuit analogy. The predominantly parallel circuitry hypothesis uh, with an equal resistance at every capillary plexus and a direct arteriolar input to the deep plexus versus the other hypothesis that is the predominantly series circuitry hypothesis with a higher resistance in the superficial plexus a lower resistance at the deep plexus and without the direct arteriolar input to the deep plexus. Using OCT and geography, some authors found arguments for the predominantly parallel hypothesis favoring the neurovascular units in the retina with an independent arteriolar supply to every capillary plexus, including the deep capillary plexus, while other authors found mostly pathophysiological arguments that supported the predominantly series arrangement without a um, direct arteriolar import to the, to the deep plexus. So, uh, trying to, to shed some light on this question, we attempted to use a novel approach. Uh, we used the novel dense biscan OCT and geography from Heidelberg that has a higher resolution than conventional OCT. And we used an automatic algorithm to evaluate the connections between the superficial arteries and um, the superficial veins. To perform this work, we performed dense biscan OCT and geography acquisitions of the perifovia of seven LC subjects from Dr. Freund's laboratory at New York. And afterwards, we employed volumetric projection artifact removal from Heidelberg and rendered together using a three-dimensional software, both the structural OCT and OCT and geography. With this work, we wanted not only to, to trace to find the, the volumetric connections between the arteries and the veins, but to find the shortest connections. Therefore, we employed a, a specific algorithm called the shortest pathway algorithm that finds the shortest pathway between two nodes of a three-dimensional volume. Imagine that here represents the artery and here represents the vein, those nodes. The algorithm will find the shortest pathway uh, between those nodes in the higher uh, three-dimensional volume. This is the algorithm that explains water flow through pipe systems and also the algorithm that Google uses to tell us how to navigate with less energy expenditure and following the straightest pathway when we use Google Maps, for, for instance. So this video, okay, it's running, perfect. Um, this video is a typical example from, from our work in an example of a room rendering of this scan OCT that uh, we used multicolor photos to assign arteries and veins. The algorithm segmented the capillaries that are depicted in green, and we verified that the software segmentation of capillaries was very, very accurate regarding the original OCTA data. The shortest pathways will be highlighted with white. And the most relevant findings were the absence of shortest pathways at the superficial capillary plexus level. And this series arrangement between the superficial vascular plexus and the deep, okay, here, the absence of connections at the superficial capillary level. And here we observe the series arrangement between the superficial vascular complex and the deep vascular complex.
but does this mean there is really an absence of connections at the superficial vascular complex level? We observe these serious connections between the superficial and the deep level, but is there really a, a total absence of connections? How is this area vascularized? That's one of the questions that must, must puzzle us. And, and recently, we, we read this beautiful work by Dong and co-authors. They used high resolution confocal microscopy and supported not only the series arrangement between the superficial and the deep vascular complex with an absence of direct connections between the superficial arterial and the deep capillary plexus, but they also demonstrated the presence of connections at the superficial vascular complex. So we took a look into their, their data that they, they gently provided us and what we saw, we saw navigating through their data was that we were able to trace the shortest pathways that are highlighted with white uh, through the deep vascular complex, even in the presence of um, connections at the superficial vascular complex level. We observed that those connections at the superficial level were more tortuous and more longer than the connections through the deep vascular complex, agreeing with our previous results toward this mixed circuitry hypothesis with the series connectivity between the superficial and the, the deep vascular complex. So our main take home messages are that the density scan enables us to get that with a high resolution and that the blood flow in the perifovia uh, percolates through this mixed circuitry with the series arrangement between the superficial and the deep vascular complex. And in this circuit, the deep vascular com complex acts mostly like a big uh, venous drain drainage basin. Our work has been uh, recently um, published at IOVS. You, you, you can take a look at fully at our paper. We, we thank very much our attention and are looking forward for all your questions. Thank you so much. The question coming in here is, um, you assigned uh, OCTA images with multicolor. And yeah. uh, how did you do that? Someone wants to copy that, obviously. <laughs> Okay, um, it's depicted in our um, in our uh, in our paper at IOVS. It's uh, we use the um, uh, in in a, in a matter of fact an algorithm from Fiji to assign the OCTA to the multicolor photos using some uh, some common points in both of the, of the pictures. It's rather easy to do that. Okay, so we have a look uh, on the paper then. Um, okay. we are at the end of this first session. It has been absolutely a great start and we have lots of positive uh, feed feedback from, uh, from the audience. I want to thank all the speakers of this first session.